Malcolm, along with his brother Ray, is carrying a girl named Keisha in his car. She looks a little strange. Keisha seems to be possessed by a demon, so she lunges at Malcolm and then at Ray, who is sitting behind the wheel. The guy gets sick and passes out and crashes into another car. Malcolm wakes up and sees that Keisha shows no signs of life, but Ray is perfectly fine. They leave the girl in the car and run away. A year later, Malcolm marries Megan. She has a cranky daughter, Becky, and a son, White, who befriends an imaginary boy, Tony. All of them, along with their dog, are moving into a new home. The man looks very happy and laughs all the time. Except that the dog doesn't want to go into the house at all, despite all the entreaties of the owner. Suddenly the rope breaks and an iron safe falls on her. Malcolm screams in terror, demands that his wife call an ambulance and tries to move the huge safe out of the way. With the help of a neighbor, they succeed, but it is no longer a dog, but a white pancake, and Malcolm demands that they bring him a pump to pump it up. But the man seems to have overdone it, and there is now a white balloon flying down the street. The family says goodbye to the doggy, and our hero weeps bitterly and even tries to bury himself in the ground. At home, Becky finds an old box, and Malcolm lets the girl keep it if she becomes more friendly with him. Then our hero meets his neighbor, who mows the lawn. Well into the evening, he starts pestering his wife, but notices a creepy doll on a chair. Megan says her name is Abigail, and she found her in the closet. The woman throws the creepy doll on the bed, and Malcolm has fun with it. The wife returns, and the frightened man throws the doll into the pool. Their first night in their new home arrives. Malcolm turns on one of the old videotapes he finds and sees on the screen people with bags over their heads and also a mysterious demon. Suddenly his phone rings. Someone starts to sing him a children's song, and then scares him. At this time, the printer prints a photo that shows the same demon from the video. Kishi's ghost appears outside the window, after which Megan walks into the room, and our hero is scared as hell. Malcolm lies down to sleep. Nearby in a chair sits that very Abigail doll. Megan appears in a beautiful silk robe. She gently embraces her husband, and there is nightly comfort between them. A tired Malcolm eagerly drinks water, but Megan demands to continue. And then there's a third round. An exhausted Malcolm crawls to the floor, but his wife grabs him and drags him back. A relentless woman. The next day, Malcolm watches a tape of his rough night and sees the doll turn its head toward him. He shows the video to wife, but she doesn't notice anything strange. Malcolm is sent pictures by the same doll Abigail. The man places many cameras around the house. Afterwards, he plays hide-and-seek with Wyatt. Suddenly, the closet door is open behind him, someone claps their hands, and Malcolm rushes to the closet, thinking he has won. He removes the blindfold from his eyes and sees his adopted son beside him. But then who is in the closet the man looks inside and sees a scary old woman. He knocks her out with his fist, whereupon the old woman removes her mask and it turns out to be Megan. Malcolm hugs his wife and begs her forgiveness. In the evening, he turns on his computer and sees Demon on the screen again. When the man turns away, he makes faces at him and makes obscene gestures. At night, the box in Becca's room opens on its own and voices come out. The box asks the girl to touch it. Malcolm and Megan hear a suspicious noise. The man goes to check what is wrong. He enters his foster daughter's room and sees thousands of tiny bats and Becky herself sitting on the bed in a trance. Megan comes running in. Together they fight the flying creatures. They manage to defeat them with electric shocks. The next day, White throws a tea party for himself and his imaginary friend Tony. Malcolm sits down next to him. Suddenly, one of the chairs falls down, followed by various objects flying around the room. Malcolm hears a knock on the door. On the threshold, he sees a note with the words Miss Me. The man runs into Abigail's room and asks the doll to leave him alone. He screams, laughs, cries, bangs his fist against the wall, then takes the doll back to his bed. At night, Malcolm asks Professor Wild for help. He tells him to look for a link to the past, and the man immediately remembers Kisha. After that, he turns on the old videotapes again. The demon appears on the screen again, attacking the young family. Malcolm hears some sound. He sees a huge cardboard box in the hallway that is moving. The man gets closer. He hits the box with a bat, stabs it with a sword, cuts it with a chainsaw, and even takes shots at it. Megan and the kids come running into the noise. She admits that it was a gift for Mal Calm. 
The man was very saddened to lose his beloved dog, so they decided to get him a new dog. Oh no, that's a pity about the dog. Merning Comis. Malcolm sneaks into Becky's room and looks in her box. The girl sees this and complains to her mother. A scandal ensues, during which Becky tries to hurt herself with the wall and eventually falls to the floor. In the afternoon, Malcolm notices that his entire car is painted with Do You Miss Me? He enters the house and sees Megan sitting at the table in Kisha's company. Whoa! That's the same Kisha who should not be alive anymore. She looks perfectly normal. And complains to Megan about Malcolm leaving her for dead after the accident. Megan gives her husband a jealous scene, but he explains that his ex-girlfriend was possessed and attacked people. Night falls. Malcolm watches the surveillance video and sees Iyer walk into Becky's room and act very strange. It looks like he is wearing a fairy costume. In the morning Becky vomits for some reason. I think she swallowed something extra. Malcolm calls Professor Wald again. Just then cops gets arrested, and there is nothing he can do to help. Malcolm calls a neighbor to visit and tells him of his trouble. He promises to help him and brings a rooster into the house. Since the demon needs a sacrifice, they chase the bird around the house, destroying everything in the process. But the fighting rooster knows how to stand up for himself and attacks Malcolm. A real battle and even hand-to-hand -hand combat ensues. Who will win? We see feathers flying all over the kitchen. Malcolm seems to have defeated him. But. And for lunch, of course, the men have chicken legs. In the afternoon, Malcolm walks into the room and sees that Abigail's doll has painted the walls with Miss Me. He tries to get rid of her, burying her, but she comes back again. The man packs her in a box and sends her to another country, but she's back in his room. He chops her up and makes a barbecue out of her. But she still comes back. Malcolm tries to explain to his wife and children that strange things are happening in their house. The living doll, the sinister box, the son's imaginary friend. None of this is quite normal, but Megan decides her husband has lost his mind. A phone call rings out. The man tries to break the home phone, but it keeps ringing anyway. It turns out his cell phone is making the sound. Someone knocks on the door. It's the police. Malcolm has been arrested. But for what? The man sees Abigail on the stairs and realizes that it is all her fault. In the morning, the man is released home. He turns on another videotape in which he sees the demon and the bound people. In desperation, he decides to get drunk. In the morning, Ware walks in on him, finds the man on the floor in a horrible state. Malcolm takes him to the church. He asks Doug's mad father for help, but they have no luck. Our hero goes on a search for Ned and Marin's Ghostbusters. Malcolm brings the couple to his house. They tell him that there really is a demon in their house. They say they will need help. Malcolm calls for a neighbor. Night falls. Marin says that the demon is in the form of Abigail's voice from the box and their sin's imaginary friend, then takes a gas mask. The room fills with white smoke. Everyone becomes very amused. White looks for his imaginary friend, but he locks him in the basement. There is some noise coming from downstairs. Malcolm and his new friends go down to the basement and see White and Becky there. The girl seems to be possessed. They throw a sheet over her and tie her to a chair. Ned and Marin say they will need a priest. Malcolm calls for Crazy Doug's father again. They begin to argue about how to properly exorcise the demon. At one point, Father Doug even pulls out a gun. They read some kind of book and wave the cross. The chair with Beck and goes up in the air, starts spinning and falls. A girl with a crazy face appears from under the sheets. She lunges at Ned, then runs away. Malcolm chases her all over the house and asks the demon to leave Becky alone. Instead, the possessed girl attacks our hero. Megan and the demon hunters come out of the basement and see that the demon has possessed Malcolm himself. His body has become incredibly flexible. Ned exorcises the demon with a cross and fist. He is joined by the others. Malcolm vomits into his daughter's casket, after which he becomes normal. Marin says their house has been cleared. The Ghostbusters take an ominous box and leave. Night falls. Malcolm and his wife are watching television. They are glad that all the horrors are behind them. Suddenly there is some sound and a flash of light. Keisha appears behind them and grabs Megan by the neck. Malcolm runs away. Ray, his boys go to Malcolm's house and find Megan. The woman shows no signs of life. In one of the rooms, they see Becky. It looks like something bad has happened to her, too. 
Ray goes down to the basement, and Malcolm is there. He doesn't look alive either. But no, it's just a regular prank. Malcolm stands up abruptly and scares the others. At that moment, Keisha appears behind them in a long white dress. Malcolm screams in terror. Thanks for watching this video. I try to make new videos almost every day. I would be very pleased if you subscribe to the channel. Also check out the other videos that have appeared on your screen. Bye everyone.